and police have arrested at least 50 people protesting near Washington Square Park as anxiety and suspicion intensify. Uh, Post-election uncertainty in the U.S. Uh, Justin Telbiko puts together a report on this. Republican and Democratic voters alike were in a state of high anxiety on Wednesday, with the election at Kwamstu unsettled a day after polls closed. Police in New York clashed with protesters arresting at least 50 of them on Wednesday night, following earlier demonstration calling for a full count of all ballots cast. Every vote counts! Count every vote! Every vote counts! So today... We demand that every vote is counted. Tomorrow, we organize and we fight regardless of who goes to the White House. This is a critical time for the country where a fascist president is trying to stage a coup and we're here to say that every vote must be counted. Unless the people stand up and make it clear that every vote has to count, the election will be stolen. And we can't allow this election to be stolen. It's too important. Recall that Donald Trump claimed to be ahead in the U.S. presidential election, while Joe Biden insinuated a possible win even after the final outcome hangs on a razor's edge. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. So I just want to thank you. And this is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. After a long night of counting, it's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. I'm not here to declare that we've won, but I am here to report when the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. The Everybody Out rally, which called on protesters to gather every Wednesday until Inauguration Day on January 20th, saw protesters marching around Washington Square Park in Manhattan.